You take down the Alouettes, now you get the Argonauts, back-to-back -back Eastern opponents, but this time you get to do it at home. Yeah, we're excited to be back uh, at BC Place. It's been great um, to have success on the road, and but we've now we've got a full week uh, of prep, which is great, um, and we've got a really good opponent in the Argos. Um, really looking forward to this one. Um, you know, obviously the, the you know game one uh, weren't able to get it done, um, but uh, now that we you know have some time in the season and and uh, you know kind of know who they are as a defense. Um, are a little bit more of who they are going to be. Um, it's we're, we feel like we're in a pretty good position. We're looking forward to being back uh, at home and playing in front of our fans. Yeah, let's talk about that because I mean, touchdown Pacific was huge, but it was still kind of a road game. And then yeah. you go to Montreal. Now you're going to be able to set up shop here for a little bit. Yeah. Heading down the stretch, I think you couldn't ask for a better situation as a football club. Yeah, we're certainly excited about it. I mean, the the, the when we're in the dome, you know, I think really you're able to play your best football, and not worry about the elements. So I think that's great. Weather's been great here, so I can't really complain. But um, you just don't know around the other parts of the country so um, the fact also that we have playing at home we know that we have home field advantage it's gonna be loud for our opponents it's always a good thing and there's gonna be some really big games coming up uh, down the stretch can you share me, with me your thoughts on what David Mackey's been able to do from what you remember him before you left and to what he's doing now because he's really an option for you on second and short to get more than just 12 12 you know inches or right yeah now. I mean he, he's super uh, versatile in the football field I mean I mean I just want to talk to him about a little bit off the field he's a great teammate he's he's one of the guys when I talk about the core of this of this team um, he's he's a part of it he's the one of the, the people that makes up the the core of that locker room um, he's uh, obviously been super involved with the PA um, but uh, he he's just uh, kind of been one of the consistencies over the the changes that have happened in the last couple of years with this organization and um, the, the good parts about it when this new regime, right? So um, he, everyone loves him in the locker room. He's a great leader, um, super consistent guy, shows up, works. We know he's, he's uh, working hard and always banged up because of what he does on the f football field, but he's, he always comes to work ready to go, and um, we're just, he's just a, a great guy to be around. So Rick and Jordan both spoke about his football IQ, just how smart he is. What's he like in the huddle, and is there a little bit of a shimmer in his eyes or light in his eyes when he knows his play is being called? Yeah, he's uh, he knows. We ask him to do a lot on offense, and so he fit, he, he wears a lot of different hats, and um, definitely a guy that you can put at different spots, and you know he's going to be fine. Even when he is banged up, he's missing practices. You know he's going to be fine, and during the game, and um, he's going to be ready to go. And that's really comforting as a as a quarterback play caller to be able to say, um, you know, that guy's not going to mess it up, and we can do a ton of things with him. So the combination of him and Katoy is just, I think, I think they're really valuable and, and really sets us apart from the rest of the league. How much of a force is he when he gets the ball in his hands? Because he is a load. Yeah, he's great. I mean, he's he's been doing a really good job, and people forget that he's a, he, you know, he's a, a ball carrier by trade, right? So he's a, I mean, really, he's a, he's a fullback position, yeah. plays a little bit more of that tight end um, for our offense, but he can really carry the ball. And when he does, I think there's there's one more thing that the defense has to account for, so that's good for us. Jordan wouldn't give me the play name when I said to him, okay, the Philadelphia Eagles have the tush push, but what yeah. should we be calling it when when Mackey gets the ball? He wouldn't give me the play name. What would you guys call him the huddle? But what 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 what, what should we call it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's something maybe Matt Baker can figure out.